Okay, hello everybody. We are back with another Dial Town uh, live stream. So yeah, so far I do like this game. I do think it's very comedic and entertaining. Uh, but is it better than Saf? I don't know. I can't really compare the two. I can't really compare the other games to this one. This one is definitely unique though. So, let's go on ahead and load a game. I think it was file, yeah, file 2. Okay, back to the slaughter. All right, so we were here. Leave the playground. Where would you like to go? To the park, to your tent, to uptown tile dog. Let's go to the uptowns. By the way. This video is not monetized, so you're not going to get any advertisements because, well, the monetization on the uh, first live stream of this game uh, wasn't very good. So this game is not YouTube friendly either, which is like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes. So, by the way, I do not own any of this music or any of this game because it's from Direct Doggo himself. So, yeah. <coughs> All right, so wait, can I not? I thought there was more than this. Okay, wait, leave the area then. Downtown Dial Tone. Okay, we're going and why do I keep calling it Dial Tone? It's Dial Town. Ah, Downtown Dial Town. Where the air tastes like crystal meth, the crystal meth tastes like smog. Ooh, okay. So what now? Talk to a nearby passerby. Oh, it's Mr. Violin Man. Hello, hello then. You need something then, mate? Who are you? The name's Nathan Hanover, governor. Bloody well chuffed to make your acquaintance oi may oi oi am. That's what it is. Sorry for me ace mate, but I, my gosh, this is kind of hard to read. But I'm running quite late for a very important date. What's well, gotten you in a hurry then? Well, We've gotta go to a charity gig that I'm olden to raise money for alcoholic dogs, ye? Right piss them mongrels are. <laughs> gotta get there under some syntonic orchestra. But I'm happy to answer any question you've got. And if you're quick, it'll be right chuffed. What does syntonic mean? Oi, don't be naff, surely you know. Nah, not a clue. Alright, so imagine a ghost, ye? But like, it's stuck in a bloody contraption, innit? And it's oil ring from inside the machine, ye? But, the screams are like music and that in it. I understand even less about Syntonics now, thank you. I think that was a reference to Five Nights at Freddy's and the kids being inside the animatronics, but it's just a theory here. I don't know the true answer. Don't mention it, governor. Just leave the magic to me then. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Please, dad, <laughs> what the heck? Corey, blow me, that sounds like right burns. But unfortunately, can't. Gotta go to the concert, and it'll be right knackered after. What are you saying? Oh gosh, am I being mugged? <laughs> nah, mate, you're alright, no beef. Oi, so we done a little natter then, or what? You ever meet. God. No, I the bomb, yeah. Yeah, he created a whole universe in that, in it. Saw him fall face down into a puddle yesterday. Well, grim. 
Of course, the real God cannot be compared to this God in this video game. Because God cannot be compared with anybody, and nobody is stronger than God. Remember that. I'll let you go get good luck. Right, get this Durenzo, get him, watch him. Foodie have a parmo and chips. Nice meeting you, ta da! Talk to a different nearby passerby. Ah, okay. These are definitely characters from uh, Ceph 2 and Ceph 1. Or, I mean, the one with the blue shirt is from the Day Chef at Freddy's. I'm quite sure about that. If it's not, then uh, I'm sorry. I guess I was wrong. But you've got to work on those nerves. Surely saying hello just once would suffice, no? I know, Peter. Is Yeah, it's... Peter is definitely from DSAF2. The, the green one is looking right at us. I think she wants something. Yeah, I was a girl, but I decided to stop doing the girl voice. Well, turn around and ask the nice lady what she wants. Alright, of course. Hey, hey, nice to meet you, ma'am. The name's Roger. Hey, Roger, how about you bring me to the fun fair, eh? I, uh, jeez, I'm flattered, really. But our lunch break just ended, so we've got to get back to work. A two redhead? Firstly, my name is Peter. That is of little consequence to me. It's nice to meet you, Peter. <laughs> yes. Secondly, no offense, but I'm married. But, but Peter, didn't you just tell me that Caroline wanted to spice to- Is she under a drum- A drum bay, Roger? What does I-X-N-A-Y mean? X X N A, I think. <clears throat> Whoops, my bad, sorry. That's on me. Ah, sure, Italian, my mortal nemesis. I don't speak that. <laughs> Once again, I'm- Cock blocked by Benito M Mussolini himself. Oh, once again. Please don't ask her any branching questions, Roger. Sorry, my... my bo Anyway. We're happy to answer any questions provided you ask them quick. Our lunch break will be over in a minute now, and the moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. Gotta get back to work, you know. Who are you two anyway? Why do you contribute to the world? That's an existential question. What is a man's worth? His meritus, his morals, his li I think she wants us to tell her about the daily grind, Roger. Oh, sorry, sorry. We work over at the Dial Town Mechanic Plant, the old one of Main Street. The one that used to be Crown Mechanics, of course, over 50 years ago before the rebranding. Anyway, me and Peter work at there together. Work at there? I think that was the typo, but I also made typo, so I'm not going to judge that. And I'm his manager. Wait, you're his manager? Well, yeah. You see, one afternoon our old manager ran into the assembly floor by purse shuffling frantically in hand. He said our plant was gonna go through some new changes and one of us was going to be promoted to his whole position. Was he promoted? To a corpse, yes. Oh shit. Nasty bit of business that. Turns out the guy had ties with the Dialtown mob and the cops had finally caught up with him. Ended up jumping out of a four story window into one of the trampolines we just manufactured. Well, at least he didn't die. What a lousy way to learn that a trampoline machine wasn't printing any of the actual trampoline parts, bar the frame springs. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, so I guess he did die. Yikes. I was so worried that once he died, the cops would just start shooting at me. I figured, phone lord, if if he can pass his old job to me, maybe he could pass his crime to me, you know. 
Regardless, I persisted and made it through with a brave face, though. You did, and cried under the desk for the whole ordeal, actually. Yeah, but she didn't know that. Say, why did he pick you to be manager and not your friend? Your friend seems far less incompetent at being a person. Oh, the old manager said it was for my intelligence and expertise. Roger's assembly line was closest to the door and thus the closest to the manager right as he entered. Okay, this is all making a lot of sense. Speaking of, we have to get back to the plant. But wait, I thought you said Roger was the manager. Who's powerful enough to reprimand Roger for being late? Oh, nobody. I just have to get back to make sure nobody else is running late. Speaking of... Peter, you couldn't possibly be cool being Roger's lackey. <laughs> I'm Roger's employee, not his lackey. Besides, it's not even that. I actually take a lot of pride in my work. I'm mostly just grateful that I managed to get manufacturing jobs here and don't have to ever return back to working at a pizza joint in Colorado. Okay, yeah, it's definitely here, yeah. I'd much rather assemble nuts and bolts than pizzas. Thank you very much. Plus, there's worse managers out there than Roger. Rotary Christ, you should beat my brother. <laughs> should I? Oh, phone lord. No, you wouldn't want to catch. Whatever he has, that makes his skin look like it does. Wait, what's up with... You think having green skin is freaky? Try Clementine Orange. I'm standing right here, you know. Well, how many nibbles does he have? Okay, okay, I stand corrected. Maybe he's not all that. Stop talking about my nipples! Oh, oh right, may have. I'm sorry, we... Just go, I've got errands to run anyways. Eggs to lay, you know. Ah, and hey, if you ever need a job, I will never work, never toil, never slave away from my daily bread. I will die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shoes. Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. <laughs> Let's go and explore another area. Uh... My goodness, there's so many options. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, to Downtown City Zoo. I never went there before. Ah, Downtown City Zoo, you know. Man, this is intense. All of the emotions I'm feeling right now. Oh, come on, it's just the zoo. You know, the gorilla pawn, the giraffe brothel. Why on earth would you... Oh, wow. Aha, what do we have here? Soul Studios, you've returned to us at last. Here to turn yourself back over to the zoo, are we? My days of confinement are behind me, Theo. Go fuck itself. <laughs> oh, jeez. <coughs> you belong here, monsieur. And the sooner you are relinquished from society's burnful grasp, the sooner I can study you again in detail. I'd hardly call letting visitors throw peanuts at me in Ted's study. Well, we are a business and we do need to make money, do we not? I have dietary needs, Dio. Now, now, you hardly starved. I granted you triple peanut ration. Rashons, did I not? Peanuts aren't nearly enough. I'm a growing pal. I'm a glum. <laughs> what the heck? I can't speak today. I'm a growing gal, Theo. I need my jerky. Well, at any rate, I'm sure you have questions. What can 
The Aurora Russell Belt famed adventurer, explorer and occupant area that Zoo Master do for you on this fine morn. How are my brethren doing? Aha, you mean your old cellmates, do you not? Yeah, the bastards over in the gorilla enclosure. Well, why don't you visit them for yourself? Admission to the zoo is free, as I'm sure you no doubt know. I don't know if I can face them again. You what? You don't understand, Tio. We have so much history together. Friend, I almost drowned in the Panama Canal during my adventures. And I dive straight back into her murky depths if I thought I saw a shiny coin on her riverbed. I leap into every ball fountain I see with change lying on its tiled fountain bed. So I see this as a no, as no different. If you drown, I dance on your body. Right, and then you would drown because I would have died in the water, naturally. Jokes on you, I float. <laughs> Float, you say? Yeah, why? Just memorizing the facts so I can jot it down in your file next. I find a pen between my digits. My, what a stupendous character study this is! I will give you no more information. Oh, fooey! Say, what's the largest animal you've ever first, you've ever fist fought? My, my, what a splendid question. <laughs> if we're only counting animals with fists, I suppose the answer would have to be none other than the noble kangaroo. So, envision as such. I was out exploring the Australian outback and dusk was hastily descending over the plains. I was trekking through. Hence, I need to find shelter at fast. Why does the outback get really cold at night or something? No, 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 no. I simply need my beloved nine hours of beauty sleep to perform exploration at any optimum level of optimization. Continue on then. So, I thought to myself. Say, didn't those dandy kangaroo fuckers get their pouches converted into sleeping bags during the worldwide dial-up process? So, I sourced a kangaroo from 12 miles away using only the scent of its urine, the lightest of tracks. And live updates from the ultra accurate 24-7 kangaroo GPS network. Needless to say, it wasn't long before a whole gaggle of rules was located by yours truly uh-huh so i walk right up to the kangaroo ready to snuggle down for bedtime but alas more happenings abound the pouch was already very much occupied by a tiny bastard kangaroo ling so I apprehended the juvenile runt and chucked it straight to the ground, which needless to say, its mother far from appreciated. She threw me a left hook, hitting me square in the chin, cracking my plastic head, kissing and almost displacing my glorious dash. So I threw one back, hitting her bullseye in her baby monitor head. Long story short, my punch prevailed and I slept in the kangaroo's raw moist linen like sheet that night. Uh. That night I gained the reluctant respect of all kangaroos becoming kangaroo keen and thus gaining the dear mythical K-word pass. Now I can legally say the K-word, a horrific kangaroo oriented slur that can only be uttered or dead or read by those deemed cool by at least one noteworthy kangaroo. Oh, you mean redacted. Cool story, bro. Can I go now? <laughs> and miss further tales of the past exploits and adventures of yours truly? Ah, fooey. 
Very well, if you simply must. So how's the zoo going? As of late, splendidly terrible. Our visitor count is at an all-time low and with three exhibits escaping our grasp. One of which is you, of course. We'll need radical change to keep this place running. Or at the very least, unload more cheap souvenirs onto the fools who pass through our near deserted gift shop. Have you considered sourcing a turd tapir? To appropriately replace the white tiger yourself in an undisclosed mystery exhibit, surely you can make a more exciting suggestion than that. If the third tapper doesn't work, you could try a fourth. Ah, fooey, this console is of little use to me. I'll figure out how to save this institution of science, discovery, and captive gorilla groaning. Yet. Or my name is in the the Aurora Roosevelt, Explorer, Adventurer, and Zoo Master. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Are you sad? Are you satiated, my green friend? Okay, that's. Just... There is indeed a lot of dialogue in this game. <laughs> Take you to the fun fair? My dear Soul Studios. Why would you wish to go to a place like that when there's infinite merriment to be found here back in your old cell? Go ahead, climb back inside, I insist! You might like it nicer this time. Why, well, I even cleaned the, way the hay pile. Yeah, because gorillas keep dying in the, exi the existing hay piles. Dun dun! I was hardly the individual who felt it necessary to discard all of those used syringes in the way in the first place. Who was I now? What the heck is this? <laughs> oh yeah. It is a weird game indeed as well. So if you're not a fan of this, then I don't recommend, recommend watching the stream. <coughs> Who I? Please, Theo, forget I said anything. Why must it be the fun fair in particular, anyway? Last I checked, you aren't particularly fond of crowds nor bright lights. I need somewhere to lay my eggs. I like the rides. Aha! Uh -huh. If you seek thrills, then you've got to the right man. Now, when you say that a bumpy boat ride through the uncharted seas of the Bermuda Triangle is quite a key to roller coaster ride. But with tenfold the adventure possibility No not at all. Roller coasters tend not to kill people. Okay, maybe our local ones do, but Stop looking at me like that. Poppy Cock Seek Adventure with me. <laughs> I'd rather go back to my cage and spend a month in the jungle with you. So be it. As the old West Atlantean proverb goes, a man chose a gorilla doesn't. That doesn't sound right. Of course it doesn't, as you are an old man. Right, I'm a woman. You are a beast and must be examined as such. And when you are returned to captivity, examine your shawl. Now, what else can I do for you? Back to your old exhibit, I hope. We've always got a hay pile for you back in your old enclosure, don't forget. I'm alright, thanks. Well, I'll do respect, go for it on yourself. Or right, it to you then. May you see only adventure, green one. It turned the zoo not strong enough. Oh, come on. Why would you deactivate that option? Leave the zoo. Okay.
No, okay, read the notes on a nearby pole. A nearby pole teleports directly to you. God, what the fuck? You hope to notice something, anything that will somehow help you get to that fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert aloud. Hey, I'm Frogless the Clown! What the frick is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore! But, don't you- oops. I didn't know I could do that. But, don't you believe in Bigfoot? All different kettle of fish, Bigfoot is real, clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly, he might as well be my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clouds are people? People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. With a red bulbous tumor attached to your face. That's that freaking haunts. They have gigantic shoes and yet and yeet. They drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dead jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are menial. They truly are wretched creatures. Uh, I had no idea that you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so. Should we skip over Frongle's venture then? Correct, let's. <laughs> okay, well, there's two adverts left then. A phone sex hotline and look. Our rent chimpanzee service. It's your pick. Let's call the phone sex hotline. Okay, let's see. Rent the chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you want to take my chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little on the feral side now that he's reached full sexual maturity, but just as adorable as ever. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only four dollars. My gosh, you can afford it. Okay, this clearly, <laughs> this is clearly Frongles the Cloud character again. Hehe, <laughs> Cloud funny. <laughs> And every time I can borrow foreign to into chip. Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you troll the day. You need to focus, right? Right, sorry, sorry. I'll rent the chip later then. <laughs> or not at all. Alright, right. Are there any other advertisements slashed onto that ball? Yeah, there's exactly one. Oh, it's X Ah, here it is. Somehow I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again the bounce. We're calling the number, darn it. Yeah, fine, let us bounce. Should I bounce in this adventure or... I, I do want to find out if I can uh, find another mate, so I'm going to bounce. Turn the street away. What now? Uh, leave the area, I want to see what else there is, okay? Uh, to the local burger place. I think that's going to be the last place I'm going to um, explore here. Return. Okay. Uh, relentlessly sniff at the glass. Because why not? Gourd. Think about how many of my young I could feed with a mountain of burgers. Good gourd, I'm not sure I've, if I have ever seen you get this lustful. I want the meat. Oh my goodness. Hey you! Yeah you! Shoo! Go on! You'll spook my brain customers away! Really? You're shooting me away? I'm not a wild animal, you can't just... I will call animal control to come pick you up. Fight is scurrying.
Native area. What next is there to explore? Um, to the local bird. Okay, I already got to these places. It wasn't very long, so I'm going to go to another place. To one of the local apartment complexes. Why not? Again. Well, we're already inside the apartment. Okay. Approach door to 101. Well, ain't this homely? This particular portion of the hallway is really neat. Uh, it's not like you to enjoy things. What do you find so neat about it? The uh, clown paintings to the right of the doorway. Uh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> the cat poster on the left, obviously. Honestly, the bone on that poster makes me want to st strangle a bird. What? There is no... B there is no BS for my love. What kind of bird? <laughs> Any bird will do. I just want to feel its snake in my hands. Oh, the narrator has a problem. I seriously hope you're not a figment of my imagination, man. Because you, you have issues, my dude. Yeah. Ahem. Let's just knock on the door, shall we? Let's. Gasp! A woman! Can I help you? Well, are you just gonna stand there gawking or did you knock on my door for an actual reason? Can you take me to the fun fair, please? I, uh, I literally just got out of the shower. Uh oh. So, I'm naked right now. I don't mind. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> That was the only option. So, back to the, yes, back to the hallway. Okay, approach door two, 200 and A. By Jove, a door. It sure is. Should I knock on it? Well, normally I'd say, you can if you want, but please don't, but well, the door is actually only closed over. You can just open it if you like. Oh, I don't like that, but let's open the door. Oh. Ah, uh, hey man. So like... Can I take me to the f <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. Uh, wow, I think I thought my life was sad. Oh, it is. But his is probably somehow even worse. Feel free to relish in that. And relish I shall. Sure. Back to the hallway then, I guess. Approach door 201B. Uh, looks like this door isn't even fully closed. Again? Good god, they're practically inviting me to lay eggs at their home. <laughs> yeah, I do know if that's how it. I have chosen where to nest, bastard narrator. Fine, jeez. Oh. No thank you. This is no place for my younglings. So, back to the hallway? Yes. Okay, so I'll open the menu and I will save the game right here.
Okay, so this is going to be it for this stream. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave your comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.